Hello there. So in, uh, if you watch my other videos, you probably notice that I'm a big fan of the mid journey because of the style and how application work and the creation. It's I just like it. It's closer to me. I know some people use a different services and it's fine. It's you're looking. But in this video, I want to look what is the latest updates inside the mid journey. Um, what is the new stuff was added? What is the testing right now? And it will be up to September 20th right now, 2022. Some new stuff may be added later on, but at this point, it's maybe help you to see how you can take more, get more out of mid journey, specifically service and how it does work. So first let's go ahead with uh, some small things and we'll go later to the more bigger things in the service what's happening so let's go first about billing and licensing you notice right here that is that l prices is about same so they don't change they still have it your trial if you're joining you have it your basic 10 a month with a uh, uh, 2000 minutes month whatever it's hours and you have it your standard unlimited with a relaxed time and everything um I'm on uh, using $30 because I used a lot of relaxed unlimited render and sometimes you ask how many images render so far it was 13,187 um, it is a lot of hours GPU time was using literally hundreds of the hours of GPU user to render that and this is give me some experience you know see when I created how it's all work and then the stuff but if you interested find out about yours you can go ahead type forward slash info in a command line and it will be provide for you this information so you can see some about your usage about what mod you are in currently and so on so this is kind of leave it similar to what it was before um, same with the pricing and everything it seems like standard there was a little bit updates on a privacy and usage but it was some little changes to the license. So let's look on this a little bit closer. Mostly it's about same what was before. You just leave it more refined. Probably have some lawyers who look over and things. That what I'm more interested to show it is a usage and copyright. This is what slightly change in this case. And you'll notice you have it the same rights as before. You can use it to your sets however you want it, with some exception. And exceptions, of course, going with the corporate licensing this is was modified and one thing what was removed it is if you are sell before with the nft if i'm right it was limitation if you sell for a bigger amount you need kind of share some revenue which i was thinking it's a little bit sorry stupid because if i'm using photoshop and inside the photoshop i create a stuff I can do whatever I wanted and sell for how much I wanted and whatever. It's a dozen not concerned the Adobe. I'm using service and tool. So what's same with the mid journey because I'm paying to use this tool and whatever I created and for how much I sell, it should not be their concern at all. But again, the provider of the service, it's that what the rules. They remove the NFT, which is kind of nice limitations. There's still some exceptions on corporations, but it's totally different. And you know, in a time when I can make 1 billion a year, I will probably okay, I hope, you know, but right now I'm not even closer. I'm like somewhere on the bottom, bottom one, but still be, it's nice to know, you know, when I become super rich, I can use this one, but overall in a license is just change. Keep it also in mind that says non-paid members. So you as exception, you can use it commercially by their licensing and everything if you are paying members. So if you're paying anywhere from the $10, from this basic standard corporate this is when you use it commercially and if you free trial you cannot use it that is actually bring another things when people ask what if people copy my art and this if you render with me journey and by the licensing it will be stealing because you are not paying to the mid journey if you take somebody else job why are you doing this I don't know this is I'm not lawyer it's a great area kind of I wish if maybe somebody can answer me that question it will be nice but I think 
as a person, I probably won't do it. As an artist, respect to another people's job. And beside that, you know, just take a prompt, render your own prompt, and you have it all clear. You know, don't just copy images. So overall, this is kind of changing and license the add more information here about uh, Discord and so on. But general, the main for me, it was the remote NFT uh, limitation because before you're supposed to pay money if you sell for very a lot of NFT. Uh, and by the way, if anybody of you sell for that much, let me know because I saw the people that created, I created, I put it on FT. Um, tell you true with the render art here and I created some very interesting digital art specific for NFTs. I put it there and so far it is, I made zero money. I sell zero things of items that I created with mid journey on NFT. If you have a better luck, let me know. Just curiosity. I wonder what have you done and what you sell. Okay. So let's go right now inside the code. What was changed? What was updated? And of course you're probably familiar. They add a new taste phase and add a couple new options. The one is a test and test P stands for photo. So let's go to settings. And if you type forward slash settings, you can open the our preset. This is same settings you can do actually with inline, but by doing this, it will help you just to set your default preset so you don't need to type them over again. You can do also with preferences, but it's a little bit more advanced. But generally here we can open and we can see we have version one, two, it's what we are on currently version three, and we have this two new test was added. MG test, which is created, um, I don't know, I think it's more refined, kind of they're going almost, I have a feeling of stable diffusion kind of, but they're using their own algorithms, so this, and a test for it's more photorealistic kind of effect, creating, uh, which kind of nice. The other things was also added, it is um, the quality, and in one case, what I was meaning by quality, you can actually recreate it so let's look on an image when you create you'll notice right here you can as usual have it you upscale to max but you also have it remaster this is new options that will actually utilize your algorithm and create it i'm not necessarily a big fan because when i create the remaster a lot of details was lost creating more like painting effect that it does not have it and we also have it the beta upscale which is use it new uh one thing is keep in mind then we when you're using test if you're using test or other things and you generate your image you can upscale but you don't have it max upscale so what is meaning let's go ahead just for now we'll click upscale this image okay and this was created with newer test option okay and also i'm going down and let's go see what we have right here this is just normal style was created and you can see when it's upscale already, we have it upscale to max. And it seems like right there, we have it one image, which is already, um, well, let's go look inspect, see what, what size it is. And we can see it's a 512. So it's not a very big size on this image. Okay. And upscaling, I think it will bring a little bit higher, but again, it's not, we don't have an option to upscale to max like right here, which is given us the maximum 2048 size. Okay, so right here you can see render is completed. And notice as the, it's add command test, so we have it our test because we're running test mode. Um, creative, we just um, add a little bit when we try upscale, up beta. So it's an upscale beta similar use it. And one thing when you're using up beta, I notice it is removing some of those um, elements as in digitalizations. And you know what, let's go right here, look. And you can see it is upscale to the max. So in some case, if you're using test, you don't need to use it your um, hours. If you remember before, if we're going right here and I'm on a relax mode right now. So it's a free user relax. And if I try to upscale this to max, it's common. It says, hey, you must be in the fast mode. So I need to use my GPU time to upscale to resolution 2024. In the test and test P there right now it does not count against your time, GPU time. So it's meaning you will have a full scale for resolution 
render with those. So I think they done this on purpose, the test, see how the system work. Also, I notice that is they maybe rework some on the with the servers and everything. It's processed quite a bit faster now, even in a relaxed mode. Uh, also, the possibility, you know, people start using different like stable diffusion and kind of start migrating to different things, which is um, I don't know how many users they have it or what peak or whatever, but it does uh, work much better right now, faster to me. And it's a little bit more enjoyable because of that. So this is probably the main updates on test and it's house app scale and test mid um, test photographer as well. I'll have it more video to going about um, how they work, but I will uh, majority probably wait it's test. It's kind of, I think a giveaway that is temporary. And we did have it one test before and they replace it because some result. The also one thing I want to point that currently and with newest updates, what they've done, the faces, they look very good. I mean, generally, if you've done this way, that look very photorealistic, clean, nice. It's a huge step with new release and updated. And I think it was even done after they released version three, because on the three, I remember beginning face still have some funny look with the eyes and everything. And of course, the algorithm was polished better. And now we have a very nice, very clean, um, perfect looking almost faces. So it's very nice to see this updating algorithm on a mid journey. So right here, very fast update. Hopefully it will help you to find some new ways or new other things to try with the mid journey. I will have a video come about the text prompts. Um, what updates with there, what you can do with weight, because I did have it another experiments. We we'll see how that can work. And it seems like they're also updated on a text um, freezing text recognition system. So it's a little bit better working, I think, to set up some weights in a mid journey. And uh, to the point, actually, when I was trying with uh, inside the DALI, when I did the elements and actually DALI, on my opinion, did not update recently any of the how the parsing with words working so it's still a little bit old and I think mid journey in some cases I had now with a text uh, weights and all this stuff compared to other one services well thanks for watching if you like it give a thumbs up remember subscribe to this channel it's helped me to promote these videos uh, put it this notification button and be sure to check other videos about uh, mid journey and other AI art Thank you for your support.